Let's say, we need to send some data, from point A to point B, wirelessly. Our go-to solution will be, to use a Wi-Fi module, or a Bluetooth module and be done with it. Now, there are certain limitations with using these modules. Like for the Bluetooth module, it has very short range. A regular Bluetooth module like this, can cover only up to 10 meters, at best. Similarly for the Wi-Fi module, we need an active internet connection. But, what if none of these options, is suitable for your application? As in, there is no internet connection available, and the distance is greater, than the covering range of Bluetooth. Well, in that case a LoRa module can be really useful, and a handy alternative. Such as this RYLR998, made by the company, Rayx Technology. LoRa stands for Long Range. The RYLR998 transceiver module features the LoRa Long Range modem, that provides ultra-long range spread spectrum communication, and high interference immunity, while minimizing current consumption. It has a Nuboten MCU, and runs on Semtec LoRa engine. It provides, excellent blocking immunity, low receive current, and high sensitivity. This module works on UART communication protocol, and can easily be controlled by AT commands. And finally it also has an onboard antenna. To get the full AT commands set, you can check out their product page, link is given in the description. Interfacing this, with a microcontroller is really easy. Here I am showing you, how to connect this with a node MCU board. But the process is the same, for any other microcontrollers. So, the module has 5 pins. BDD connects to 3.3V, as this module operates on 3.3V, and any higher voltage might damage the module. Ground connects to ground, TX to RX pin, and RX to TX pin, of the microcontroller. Moving on to the coding part. Here as you can see, I have used the software serial library, for the ESP8266. And hardware serial 1 port, for the ESP32. The AT command guide from the manufacturer, actually provided all the required steps, that you need to follow, to get this module up and running. So, after completing all the necessary steps, our module should be ready to use. In this demonstration, I will be showing you a simple, two-way communication, between these two boards. So here, whenever I press the button, from one node MCU board, a message, which includes, the address of the receiver module, the length of the message and the message itself, will be sent to the other one. Upon receiving the message, it splits the incoming data, into sections. Such as the address of the transmission module, the length of the message and the message contents. And display those, on the serial monitor. The onboard LED, then turned on for 2 seconds, and then turn off again. Indicating a new message, has been received. In this way, you can make a very simple LoRa messaging platform. Hope you enjoy the video. Leave a like if you do. I will make some cool projects with this module in the future. So subscribe to my channel, and get notified, whenever I make a new video. Thanks for watching, I will catch you in the next one.